Hello and welcome back to another episode in the Lean Stacks Technology Instruction Series. In this episode, we build upon the Greeting Web Services project, adding unit test code coverage reporting using the Jococo plugin for the popular Gradle build system. This episode builds on the previous Gradle episodes. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch them, I encourage you to take a look. Let's get started. I've opened the Greeting Web Services project in the Spring Tool Suite, or STS. Open the build.gradle file located in the project base directory. Gradle functionality is organized into tasks. Gradle plugins provide new functionality to a build by supplying additional tasks. Jococo is a library that analyzes a Java project's main code base and determines how much of the code is invoked as unit tests are executed. Jococo tracks the classes, lines, and even branches which are covered by the unit tests. Let's add the Jococo Gradle plugin to the build. Use the Apply Plugin statement to add the Jococo plugin to the build script. Next, let's configure the Jococo plugin version. The Jococo plugin may be configured using a Gradle closure called Jococo. The tool version property allows you to configure a specific version of the Jococo library. Since the default tool version is a bit old, let's configure a later version. I prefer to keep the versions of my plugin tools and dependencies in the project extra properties. Let's add an extra property called Jococo version and move the version of the Jococo tool to, that, to the extra properties. Finally, let's configure the Jococo reports. The plugin adds a new task named Jococo Test Report to our project. This task creates the code coverage report in various formats, including XML, CSV, and HTML. Use the Jococo Test Report closure to configure the desired report formats. Each format has an enabled property, which accepts Boolean values. Let's set them all to true so that we can see how each of these report formats is produced. Let's build the application to see the Gradle Jococo plugin in action. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. If the Gradle command line interface is installed on the build machine, the Gradle command may be used to initiate Gradle. Oftentimes it's desirable to run Gradle without installing the command line interface. The Gradle wrapper provides the full functionality of Gradle. I will illustrate running our project using the Gradle wrapper. At the terminal prompt typed type Gradle W clean build to initiate the build process. Let's look at the reports in the project's build subdirectory. Here's the unit test report and the build dashboard report. Also, the Jococo exec file containing the binary results of Jococo's execution. However, the Jococo report was not produced. We need to explicitly include the Jococo test report task in the command line list of tasks. In other words, the arguments supplied to the Gradle wrapper command. Let's run the build again, but this time type Gradle W clean build Jococo test report.
Let's look at the build subdirectory once again. This time the Jococo reports were produced. I'll use the build dashboard report to view the code coverage report. Let me refresh the report. Now I can view the Jococo report in HTML. Wow! A lot of red on that report. It looks like we've got some work to do to increase the code covered by our project's unit test suite. Let's update the build script to produce the Jococo reports every time the unit tests are executed. I'll add the finalized by instruction to ensure that the Jococo report task is executed after the test task. The finalized by instruction tells Gradle's workflow engine to execute one task after another task has completed. In our cat case, the statement instructs Gradle to always execute the Jococo test report task after the test task has completed. Let's build the application once again to see how the finalize by statement works. Open the terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. Type Gradle W clean build and press enter. Notice that I purposefully did not include the Jococo test report task. We can see in the build output that the Jococo test report task was executed after the test task. Let's look at the reports in the build subdirectory. The Jococo reports were produced. I'll refresh the build dashboard in the browser and we can see that all of the reports were included. Code coverage reports are a powerful tool which should be included in every software project. They provide visibility into how much of the project is actually being tested by the unit tests. Jococo reports provide information at a summary level and also allow engineers to drill down to individual packages and classes to see which lines of code have been tested, which are partially tested, and which are not covered at all by the unit tests. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new episodes are published. As always, you can find more information on LeanStacks.com. To view the complete repository illustrated in this episode, see the GitHub repository URL in this episode's description.